testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Since I live alone, I'm doing some self-care to prepare for this year's Valentine's week. Since my dog's been ripping his beds apart, I decided to get him a new one. This brand is actually really nice. It's from Nate and Jeremiah. The quality is really amazing, actually. The mat is sturdy, and my puppy is really happy. Surprisingly, the stand is really easy to build. It comes with four screws for each side. And I think this is called an Allen key, which you use to turn the screws and tighten them. Look how happy he is. He loves his new bed. So I want to give my dog the best of the best. So he eats just food for dogs or the farmer's dog food. As soon as I get it delivered, I cut it into different pieces and I put them in tiny Ziploc bags. That way I know how long it's going to take for me to use it all up so I can order more before it runs out. I recently went to the thrift store and found some cute little dresses. So I decided to try them on in this video. I found a can of Spam in my cupboard and I decided to make these noodles for dinner with some Alfredo sauce. Not many people are very big fans of Spam, but I love it very much. I could have made the Alfredo sauce myself, but I decided to buy just the bottled one. I personally prefer a lot of parmesan on my noodles, but that's not everybody's preference. This is probably one of my heavier meals, but I still enjoy it anyway. For Valentine's Day, I wanted to actually make a dessert that I love very much. When I was a kid, my mom used to make flan, which is basically an egg custard. Pretty crazy that there's only four ingredients in this. My mom makes this very differently than I do. She actually adds the entire eggs. And she adds salt, which I didn't. I like this version much better than the one my mom has made my whole life. For Lunar New Year, we decided to go to a dim sum place to eat some yummy dumplings. We had such a great brunch there.
It is probably one of the only places that I've ever visited to eat dim sum that has a traditional setting. All of the dumplings were very delicious, including their desserts. After that, we decided to go to the beach. The food at the beach was also very delicious, and my family had a great time. For Valentine's Day, we decided to explore the Japanese Friendship Garden to explore the beautiful landscape and the koi fish. In this place, they have a variety of bonsai, as well as beautiful sculptures. All of the details capture the essence of a Japanese garden. We finished the week with a beautiful view at the glider port and a great meal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!